everyone I'm back to do another video and this week I am super pumped for this kit I am using this kit from planned escape and it is called pastel Ridge and unfortunately I'm sorry guys you can't get this kit anymore she is no longer open but it's been in my stash for so so long and I have been pushing it off you know week by week every single time and I really don't know why because after using this kit, I am in love with this. And I'm so upset that I can't get another one because she's, I'm pretty sure she's closed. She doesn't, she hasn't updated her Instagram in like months, almost a year probably. So yeah, we, we'll see. I'm gonna try and message her. Maybe she's still selling stuff, but it doesn't look like she is. Um, either way, I did put my bottom washi down that came from the kit. I didn't split it or anything because it was perfect as it was. And you guys know in my recollections planner, I am using top washi as well. That top washi is from, uh, I believe Amazon. And I just love that pattern. It matched perfectly with the tones in this kit. And I'm just super thrilled that I had it because this is literally the only washi that I had that matched. Otherwise, I would have been kind of screwed. <laughs> so I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. And the date covers that I used were from the kit this week. And I just love her font. It is very bouncy, but it's still legible. Because you know, there's some font that is like super bouncy and you're like, what the heck does this word say? Um, her font is perfect and I'm still super bummed that I probably can't get any, any of her stuff anymore. But anyways, enough dwelling on, you know, what you can't change. I am going in here with the date dots and these are from Timo prints and not sure if you're able to tell, but these are in a holographic foil. And so that is the foil that I decided to use this week because I think it was just a perfect match. And after seeing the completed spread, I am so glad I made that decision. Here I am using these headers from Sadie's Stickers, and they are her standard holographic vinyl um, headers. And I am just laying those all across the top this week. Um, I just really love how that looks in my planner these days. I used to do the whole row by row thing, but one, you lose space when you do the row by row. Two, it kind of looks a little too put together. And if you know my style of planning, like I like it to be different and not as structured. So um, I think having the free open space with just the headers across the top and every now and then putting headers in between um, really like you know, livens up my spreads. Okay, moving on to the sidebar. I use that box up in the top left corner and I will be putting a quote box over that. Unfortunately, I didn't do that on camera like a silly person. So you will, but you will see it on the Instagram post. Um, here I am using my arm as a, uh, I guess as a table to <laughs> kind of line up all of the full boxes to, you know, see which order is the best and it's always best when you have them out like this so that you can um, you know make decisions on lineup before you officially put them down on the page and grip your paper and all of that jazz and I just I don't know the artwork in this is one of my favorites and I'm really bummed that I didn't get to two of these kits but what can you do so this box I'm putting down on Friday, as you see, it's got this really pretty white um, border around it. And I love that. It gives, you know, every, um, all of those boxes, like some dimension and it separates them from the rest. So I just, I don't know. I love this so much. And that box on Tuesday is probably my favorite. All right, moving back to the sidebar, I put down a weekly box and her boxes come with um, header space, which is really cool. But for this kit, I wanted to do something a little different. Um, so I put down a washi strip as a header for my happy mailbox. And her um, checklist boxes are very like unique and patterned. As you can see, there's like that one random strip of a wave. <laughs> it's very different and unique, but I really liked it. Um, so I put a 
strip of washi over the top of that header space and I'm using a script from C&L Crafts to mark my highlights for the week as well as a rose color day script for my happy mail. All right, moving back into the main spread, I am using the remember headers from the kit to kind of just give it a little bit of dimension. Uh, you know, as I just mentioned, every now and then I like to add another header in there um, just because, and this was a week that I thought it looked good. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. All right, moving on to the plants. So I took a half box from the kit and there were no shortage, there was no shortage of half boxes, which was great. And I marked that I worked in the office uh, this day and I got lunch with one of my coworkers. It was my first time meeting him in person. So we went and got some lunch at Cooper Hawk, which y'all know is one of my faves. And I used an icon from the kit to mark that as, as well as a paper and milk um, uh, paper clip. I also had a stomach ache that morning and so I marked that with a once more with love munchkin. It used to say cramps at the bottom but I cut that off because I didn't really have cramps, I just had a stomach ache. <laughs> uh, then I went to Starbucks after lunch and I um, used a script from Ruby Trev and a coffee cup from Moonlight Paper Co. And because I was in the area, I decided to pick up my wine from Cooper's Hawk for my August um, membership. And I can't remember which ones I got. I wanna say I got a port and rosé. I think that's what I got. I can't remember. I have way too much wine. But that wine glass that I did use is from Fox and Cactus. And then on my way home from the office, I did pick up my glasses because I had been slacking on picking those up. And I used a Clever Gal Crafts um, heart from the High Tide colorway. If you haven't checked out my Clever Gal Crafts organization video, go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. All right, moving on to Tuesday. So I put a, a quarter box down because I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna put in there, but I knew something was gonna go in there. And I did some filming, editing, and uploading uh, this day. So I used some scripts from Avenue K Design. And while I was doing that, I marked, or I wanted to mark that I was listening to My Favorite Murder. I am officially hooked. I am a murder reno. I am all for it. And the podcast stickers that I'm using this week are from Moonlight Paper Co. All right, and moving on to the bottom, I am using a uh, post-it post -it note from Chic Street Sticker Boutique to mark that I did go to a happy hour at Don Tito's for Taco Tuesday. If you're in the DC area, it is in Arlington, Virginia, and it is one of my faves for tacos. They have fire tacos. Like, mm, I might go tomorrow just because. I might go by my damn self. <laughs> Either way. Um, then I moved back up towards the top and put in some character, character stickers to mark my filming, editing, and uploading. Uh, moving on to Wednesday, I wanted to mark that I wanted to go to, um, uh, that I went to Orange Theory and I used a kettlebell from the kit. And for dinner that night, I decided to order some Domino's pizza. I don't know why I do this. I go to work out, I have a great workout, and then I'm like, oh, let's eat all of the fattening things you can possibly buy. It's so silly, I know. I'm a work in progress, guys. <laughs> but either way, I marked that I went that I got Domino's um, with a sticker party icon of Domino's Pizza Box. How cool is that? Love when I have stickers that match things perfectly. And I marked also that I did some more filming. Uh, that morning, my ring doorbell was giving me hell and it would not connect to Wi-Fi and I was getting super frustrated. So I marked that in my planner because it took me a good 45 minutes to get it together. And then that night, while I was eating pizza, I did watch the Big Little Lies finale and 
I don't know how I feel about it. I'm sad that it's over. I hope they have a season three, but I don't really know what season three would like consist of. Like, I don't know. So we'll see. And there's little Coco walking around, of course. Um, but anyways, back to the spread. On Thursday, I um, listened to some more of My Favorite Murder. I have been doing that while working. Um, I don't know. It's just, I love that freaking podcast. It's so great. And I'm using a holographic box from My Newest Addiction to mark that that night, I went to Del Frisco's for uh, my friend Ollie's birthday dinner. And oh my God, talk about food coma. We literally ordered everything on the menu and they brought out dessert for free because I told them it was his birthday. But if you're in an area where there's a Del Frisco's, specifically the, the Double Eagle, not the grill. I mean, the grill is good too, but the Double Eagle, highly, highly recommend going. But make sure you like bring some cash because it's not cheap. <laughs> and I used another Clever Gal Crafts heart to mark that. Moving back towards the top, I also worked out this day, go me, and I marked that it was a Lizzo ride, um, a Lizzo themed ride, should I say, uh, from Peloton. And so I used these sneakers from GP Sticker Studio to mark that. Onto Friday, I uploaded my Clever Gal Crafts organization video. Um, like I mentioned, that will be listed in the description below. Check it out. Hopefully you guys like it. I had a lot of fun filming it and reorganizing my stash. And of course, I had to use a Clever Gal Crafts heart to mark that. <laughs> that um, evening, I went to Mission for happy hour for one of my friend's um, birthday and mission is a taco spot so I was super happy that there were tacos there and I actually didn't get tacos what am I talking about I got queso which had like chorizo in it which was so bomb but those balloons are from uh, Rose and Tea Shop and I did mark that I found the Miss Maker books from Happy Planner this day for super low I got them for retail which is like unheard of and so I used a paper and milk clip, Maru clip, to mark that as well. Um, after mission, the, the group decided that they wanted to go do some hookah. I don't smoke hookah, but I went along for the, you know, the fellowship. And so I did mark that with a post-it note from c and Crafts as well. Okay, on to the weekend. Of course, some more My Favorite Murder. Mark that the same way I have been. And I was hosting family dinner that day, so I wanted to mark that with a happy girl from Planet Beautiful, and I'm super excited and blessed to have my family live very close to me. And so they came down, my grandma cooked, and yeah, and my grandma cooked yeah, while I hosted it at my house, my grandma cooked because she doesn't really eat anybody else's food but her food or Red Lobster. <laughs> Super random. If it's not Red Lobster or her cooking, she's probably not going to eat it. So she cooked. Um, then I had some steak and eggs for breakfast because um, I had those leftovers from Del Frisco's. And I filmed my Happy Planner birthday prep video as well that will be listed below or in the cards either one I'm going to try to figure out this whole card situation and hopefully I can get that figured out for this video but then after my family left I went to bed pretty early because I was pretty zonked and I used that bloody bloody <laughs> that beauty sleep mask from the kit um Moving on to Sunday, I did wake up to stream church and I used an icon from the Happy Planner actually from the Faith book. And after church, I decided to go winery hopping with my girl Devanya. We ended up going to six wineries, which is a little excessive, but we wanted to knock them all out in that one area so we don't really have to go back because there are so many wineries in this area. Like you got to do them piece by piece. Um, so I'm just listing out all of the wineries that we went to and one of them wasn't listed. It was Fleetwood, but we did go to that one, but we didn't drink there. All right. 
And here I am marking that my plan with me went live this day and I used an exclamation point from the kit. Love when kits have basic icons like that. Love it. And after wineries, we went to get some tacos. Are you seeing a theme here that I love Mexican food? <laughs> um, we went to go get some tacos from this place called Rango's and it was bomb. And if you're in the Tyson's area, highly recommend it. And it's super cheap considering it's in like Northern Virginia. My, our meal was like, my meal was like 20 bucks, which is like unheard of. And using the weekend banner from Rose Color Days to finish off the spread. Now I'm just going into my sidebar and writing out the highlights for each day because I love doing that, especially when I go back and do my flip throughs. I can quickly look at the sidebar and remember what happened that week without, you know, scanning the spread too, too much. All right, so that's everything. Here is a Viv Wiggle for you. Look at all that beautiful hollow foil. This is honestly one of my favorites that I've done in a long time. Those are the leftovers from the kit. I have quite a bit left. And here is a close up of everything. If you have any questions, please let me know. And please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe so I can continue to bring content to you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.